Hey there, how you doing today, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Nick from Run the Foot Market. And today, uh, we have a video for you guys, for you. Um, look, today's video is weird because I haven't streamed since Sunday. I'm not planning on streaming today because I just don't know what to do on FIFA right now. Um, I am recording a video. That was a weird noise. I'm recording a video right now. It's 8 minutes to 1 p.m. So that's when EA always drops content. And I wanted to get on this video a little early. Um, because I know if they don't drop anything at 1, we're going to have some words and then some things to exchange today. But I never really made a video yesterday talking about what they did yesterday. Uh, they also just dropped the patch notes. So I want to go over that with you guys. And uh, yeah, just talk about some things, man. Back and forth. You know how it is, guys. Um, if you enjoy the video, guys, obviously a thumbs up is super appreciated. So the state of FIFA right now is extremely dry. Um, but the problem with that is, and I and I tried this yesterday, it's a dry game. There's not much to do right now because EA is not giving us much to do. They're not giving us much content. They're not giving us anything to really, really, truly go ahead and do. The problem is, I went to go and try and play other games yesterday, and I ended up literally running Modern Warfare 2 on my Xbox with friends in a party. That That's the only thing right now. I, like, I, I tried all these other games yesterday. There's no other game. And I'm always going to create FIFA content for you guys, but just in terms of a game or something to do during the week, I looked around and there's nothing to do. And, and I just find EA to be so stupid to not know that because it's, it's a general thing in the community right now is there's not a lot of other things to do and a lot of other games to play. Um, so I'm, I'm actually a little surprised myself that EA doesn't know that and that they're not dropping content. Now, I tweeted this yesterday um, at 1 p.m. and I said, look, because we didn't get a footies vote yesterday... We're not going to get the earliest, the earliest SPC will not be until next, well, now Thursday. So if we don't get one today, it's not going to be until Friday because they're doing two days to bring out the SPC uh, from the time that they release the voter thing. So my, my biggest confusion is why is EA Sports ruining a promo? Um, that's a birthday card. Who is this? Kulabali. Oh, wow. That's from Robin. That is from the uh, Robin Packs. I did a review on my second channel today. If you guys want to go watch that, you can. It's very good. Um, but yeah, my, my biggest thing is like, why is EA, why are they trying to ruin a promo, which should be a promo of fun? This is the end of the year, right? So this right now, if we go into the calendar and we look, this is about month nine of FIFA. Um, we've got, not this is July. August is month 10. Um... No, actually, this is month 10 right now, because August is month 11, September is month 12. Yeah. So this is like the 12th month, this is like the 10th month of FIFA right now. And it should be about embracing fun, embracing the end of the year, embracing the player base that they still have. And Nepenthes put a really good Instagram story about it yesterday. It's like this thing where EA just only cares about the percentage of people that are playing the game that are, you know, not in this community. And, and it's obvious to me, they dropped yesterday a UCL upgrade SBC, which like nobody in the community actually wants so for me it was that was that was hard to see man it was hard to see that because you know what's so capable right like we all know what ea could be doing right now and here here people always ask me nick you complain you don't give solutions here's my solution yesterday ea they should have dropped a footies voting sbc they should have also dropped a team of the week or a team of the season repeatable SBC. Who cares, right? Let people spend their money. Nobody's going to do a UCL upgrade pack. And the thing that's the worst part about it, and this is another thing that I want to explain. At a certain rate, the community is also the community is also to hold guilty of it. Because Blues went like extinct yesterday because people were doing that stupid SBC. The SBC was like 150k for the SBC. And I was like, I was in disbelief. I was like, are people really doing this right now? Like, I'm like, is this happening? And yeah, <laughs> not, I mean, it wasn't that surprising, but yeah, people were doing the SBC. So in terms of content yesterday, they dropped um, UCL 81 plus upgrade, UCL upgrade, UCL premium upgrade, and then that's it. I mean, they dropped the Robin, which was decent, um, but there's nothing else to grind. And, and, and it's one of those things where the community is going to log in and the community is going to log off. Um, so that's another thing that they did yesterday. And then in terms of the weekly objectives, this is a really hard objective to complete. I mean, these two are okay, and then and then these are pretty easy to do. You'll, you'll finish those pretty quickly. Um, now, something cool as well today to talk about is that EA has done something with Twitch Prime. Um, you, unfortunately, for streamers, you don't have to sub to the streamer, which would be a nice benefit to streamers in FIFA 20 because that would give them a huge payday. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that because it's huge, man. If somebody has to go ahead and to sub to a Twitch Prime with Twitch Prime to a streamer, the stream is going to do very well when that promotion is active, but that's not how EA is running this promotion. They're just running it where you have to go click on a link, 
and then you get a guaranteed 86 plus pack. I'll probably do that whenever I start streaming again. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll claim that and we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so that's a cool thing, right? That's a cool thing, but I really want them to bring out more votes. I want them to do that because that's what footies is all about. And when I initially saw this promo, guys, I was like, yo, hold on a second. Like, EA is really going to do it like this this year because in the past, what it had been was like a vote and then you had to wait like four days. So it was a long time in terms of voting in SBC. And the problem with that is that there was two things that were wrong in the system last year. It wasn't a pick vote. So like it was a submit vote, which means that people were keeping the highest rated player. So sometimes the best player wasn't winning or the player that everybody wanted the most because they wanted to keep it for an SBC. And then two, obviously the length in between. So the length has been better this year. I can deal with two days, but the thing is they should be bringing them every day. There's no way that there's like a threshold. There's no way that there's any kind of like, I don't want to hear this wording from EA because sometimes I feel like they say like, it's above the threshold or it's too many compared to what we're allowed to bring out. And I don't like that. I don't like how they word that kind of stuff. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I think it's a load of BS. Um, so hopefully that today changes. Um, and then, yeah. So we've got two minutes to one o'clock, guys. I'm just not streaming today because I just, this is what I want to see. I want to see what happens. And if they bring us great stuff, they bring us great stuff. Um, I'm, I'm also really torn right now. I wanted to talk about that with you guys. I don't know if I should complete that Coleman, man. I don't know. Like, I really want to try him out. And I'm thinking about rocking a Bundesliga team this weekend. But I'm just not sure if I want to go ahead and complete him. I'm not sure yet, man. I just don't know. Something about wins on rivals is so challenging. And especially when you start playing at the higher skill ratings, like, it's, it's very, very close to, like, not worth doing every single time. Even if they put a top tier player, it's always just, like, a pain in the butt to go ahead and do it. So I'm always really reluctant. And I would do, like, four or five rivals wins, but nine is a little crazy. So right now it's 12.59. Um... I don't know if there's a counter anywhere. We're going to kind of just have to see what they drop. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of ultimate team. So I'll go into ultimate team at one o'clock. That's kind of how we'll do it. We'll go into ultimate team at one o'clock. We'll see what's going on. Um, yeah, I think all I ask for FIFA 20, man, in terms of like EA is that they just be consistent, bro. It's been so inconsistent this year. Like sometimes they've brought in amazing content, like or they start these promos in an amazing manner, and then the next day it's just like, what the hell am I even looking at? Like, what is going on? You know, we're looking at UCL upgrade SPCs for 150k. So, we'll see. We're logging in. It's one o'clock officially. Um, we'll see if there's a vote. If there's not a vote today, that means we're not getting a player until Friday, which I don't even understand. Um, that would be catastrophic to say the least. We didn't get a vote today. Oh my god, dude! What are they doing, man? Foot swap deals player. The champion, they brought back Bale. Um, so Bale has a foot birthday card. Um, is there anything else? So they brought back Bale, which is interesting. 85, 85, 85. Holy crap, that's really sick. The reason why they've made this solo rated. This is actually really good because this is a really, really, really good card. Um... It's a really good card, so this is actually fire because this card is this card when his SBC came out, he was 1.8 million, and now he is. I mean, 385 squads. That's not going to be more than 400. That's not going to. That's not more than Robin. So he'll be like 300k. That's a really really good look. I like that a lot. And you get a you get some decent packs back. That's really well priced because Bale's foot birthday is about 700 to 800k. And it's a little better. It's central, and this is about half the half the price, and you're going to get an SBC. So that's pretty good. I, I actually really like that. And this is a really really cool card that a lot of people wanted to complete. But I remember it was so expensive. So a lot of people, a lot of people are going to like this card and like the idea of it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a review out about them um, because this is a this is a good looking card. I like that a lot. I'm I'm a fan of that for sure. And then if we look into this, what the hell is that? SBC group name UCL throwback. What the hell is this? I don't even know what I, what this is. Um, UCL three player pack. All right, that's some like crazy SBC. I don't really know what that is. What I'm gonna go ahead and look at right now is see did we get a footies vote? If we didn't, I just don't understand. I'm, I guess I'm really confused if we didn't get a footies vote. I have no idea. Like why would we be at this point in the year and at this promo and not be getting footies votes? I just don't get that. Um, we'll go ahead. We'll see one more time. Cause I can't believe my eyes that we don't have one. I'm shocked that we don't have a vote right now. Like this doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, so we'll go ahead. We'll load in right here. Um, no, we didn't get a vote. That's crazy, bro. So we're not going to get, wow. So dude, what? 
So it's we're not gonna get a footies. We're not gonna get a footies SBC guys um, until Friday. I, dude, I don't even understand, man. Like, look, look, right? Robin is great. Bale is great. This is cool because this should be this should be a supplement. Um, this should be a supplement, guys. At the end of FIFA, this should be something that EA brings out and. You know, it's something that goes along with other good content, other footies content, but it shouldn't be the main content. And I think that's where my biggest problem is right now is that EA is really bringing this across as the main content on FIFA. This is right now, this is a you log in at one o'clock, you see if you want to do one of these players, then you remember how bad the gameplay is. You don't want to play the gameplay until the weekend because it's not rewarding enough to go through the grind of this game in the week. And then you maybe try them out on the weekend, but the problem is. I just don't think people want to do these UCL upgrade SBCs. I, I just don't. Um, I, I wouldn't believe my eyes if people wanted to do these because Team of the Seasons outshine them. This is an okay, like, kind of cool SBC, but it's another one of those things where you log on, you either complete or don't complete a pack, and then you go ahead and you leave the menus. And even just a simple thing like a vote would get people community involvement. and it, People would want to play the game because people like to vote. People like to participate in FIFA. People like to... Um, People just like to feel like they've like they've. It's the same thing with voting. People like to feel like a certain way um, about voting. So I don't understand why EA is hindering away from that. It just it just confuses me. You know what I'm saying? It it, it doesn't make sense that EA would not want to bring out um, something that would make the community um, get together, vote, and 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 do something like that. I just don't understand it. I don't know where EA goes wrong with this because I don't. I don't know what they talk about when they have meetings and things like that. When they when they start a new promo, right? And they say, this is the footies promo. Um, you know, what are we doing though? EA, like, what are we doing for real here? Because it's the footies promo. The footies promo has been happening since last Wednesday. Okay, so right now it's, it's, it's Tuesday. It's been six days. Okay, six days and we haven't gotten more than two vote, vote SBCs. We got the, we got the center mids and then we got, um... Uh, we got the Lozano. So I just don't know what's going wrong here because at this rate, we started off accelerating. We were going crazy. And then what ended up happening was that we just completely went downhill. And I don't know like what the change was or what happened necessarily because something clear, I mean, clearly something happened. Um, I don't know what specifically that, that thing is, um, but something definitely happened with these guys at EA and, and, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't have answers. Like, I tweeted yesterday. Uh, I put this up on my Twitter yesterday because I was lost. Like, yesterday, I was literally lost, man. I didn't know what to say. Um, I had no idea. I tweeted out yesterday. I wish I didn't have to complain all the time, but it genuinely baffles me and me how the company agenda of EA is to hinder away from the footage, player votes, and community interactions and re-release the worst SBCs of FIFA 19. I've got no answers for you this time. This one is whack. With no vote again today, the next closest footies winner SBC will not be available until Thursday. So now we look at this timeline, guys, where the next footies SBC, the next closest available footies SBC, is not going to be available now until Friday because tomorrow is the next closest date that we could get one, which would be a Wednesday. That's the next time we could get a footies winner SBC, which is like... I just think it's lame, man. Because here's the thing, right? We got the—I think we got the first SBC on Friday last week. So tomorrow there has to be a vote. If there's not a vote tomorrow, then they've literally like just canceled the promo. I don't even know. They're on the verge of it right now. Um, I'm just like so shocked. I'm still looking around and I can't find anything, and I'm and I'm and I'm shocked about it. I'm gonna get that bill done um, later today for sure because I do want to get him for my club and I want to try him out. Something as well that happened today, guys, that I want to talk about with all of you. Um, is the patch notes. Um, this just came out today and I know it's July and not a lot of you care, but a lot of you guys do play weekly. Um, and this could be potentially relevant to you. I don't know how relevant, uh, not patch notes, the pitch notes. Sorry. Uh, Hey FIFA fans. It's been a few months since we updated the community on the responsiveness. Um, the changes they made, they didn't do anything since the last update. So this is number 15. Um, in an effort to measure the impacts that these changes I have on gameplay responsive. We've included them on this title update, but only for the fall modes. All right, foot champions and division rivals. These changes are technical in nature, but here's a level, high level summary of the changes of why we believe they will improve gameplay responsiveness for some players. The first change is focused on reducing the time that it takes for the game to retry. Sending game inf gameplay information to the network with the initial attempt to send the information was unsuccessful. This is un intended to reduce the likelihood of delay in those inputs taking action in the game in situations where gameplay information was intermittently failing to be sent to, to potential networks. 
Now, this was something that Inception really, uh, who's a content creator, he got this, like, done. This is what he went to EA to, like, work on with them. He was helping them with this. He was telling me about this, that this was going to come. They were trying to roll this out in July. So they did get it out in July, which is great. The second change is focused on reducing the amount uh, of maximum buffer between when gameplay information is received by the game and when it is visually rendered on the screen. Previously, the maximum buffer that was in place in these modes was slightly longer than it is for an offline match in FIFA to ensure that there is a visual smoothness to the gameplay despite the less predictable delivery times in an online match due to network conditions that can vary through a match uh, than would be present in an offline match. In this title update, we've reduced the maximum buffer. All right, so there's a lot of like... There's a lot of stuff in here that's a little technical. What I was told, guys, um, in general about what EA was after was that he was telling Inception, who was at the EA Studios, was telling me that EA Sports um, really wants to try to fix this thing, but they don't really know what it is. Um, they don't really know what's going on with the gameplay responsiveness. They don't really have an idea, but apparently it is now known to the guys at EA that they do know um that there is changing gameplay and if you guys watch my videos or on the second channel or if you guys watch my streams i always talk about this thing of bad and good gameplay and how that's irrelevant from the servers it's a whole other monster it's like sometimes you go into a game and your gameplay is it's not about the responsiveness it's like the touches it's all that this is a step in the right direction as much as i would like to plaster ea today for the sh awful footies content the awful footies promo so far because it has been tragic in terms of the central focus of footies is footies player items not the supplemental stuff like best of sbcs um like any of that the main focus of this promo should be the footies player sbcs and we've got nothing of that so i just want to make that clear to you guys that i still like i'm standing by the fact that this has been a bad promo due to that fact of us just not getting good sbcs uh like voting sbcs for the players but this patch and pitch notes rather is a step in the right direction i like that they're looking into it I still don't believe them in terms of like that there's going to be anything that changes with this update. And I'm not, be, not being negative. I just don't think there's going to be anything that changes. Um, it's too late in the game. But I do like the fact that they know that this game is so deep into the life cycle that they can afford to go ahead and make some changes into this game. Try some different things. I, so be it, man. If you guys want to use this game now to try to figure out how to get the game right for next year, please do that. Don't wait until FIFA 20 to start making patches and stuff in the first month or two and changing the game all, all crazy and removing certain mechanics. Figure it out now, figure out the gameplay responsiveness, and then get back to FIFA 20 with it all good to go. Now, that's a lot easier said than done, guys, because keep in mind, um, gameplay responsiveness, bad, good gameplay, it's it's a monster to tackle. It's, it's very hard to know exactly what you're dealing with, um, and it's going to be very hard for them to try to figure out. I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. Um, I pray that they can, but I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. That is a step in the right direction, but unfortunately today, the footies promo itself took a step in the wrong direction again we've taken another step backwards guys in my opinion this is just not good there, there's nothing i'm not even if they dropped that that bail today and it's cheap as hell even if they drop that bail today guys for 20k it's just not a good promo man because they're they're going away from the things that are the most important part of the promo the most important part for ea sports should be let's bring out these pink vote sbcs let's get our community excited to log on and vote Let's get our community ready to go and try out these players, man. You guys can see the community engagement with the new players. You know how many games in Weekend League I saw Promis, I saw Lozano, I saw Fred. People were playing with these cards. I My second channel, the videos that I'm putting up on the player reviews are getting insane views because people are engaged and they're interested in this content. The content, the best of content, it's good, right? It's not bad, but it's not, it shouldn't, again, it shouldn't be the main content that EA is releasing during the footies promotion. It just, there's no justification for me to be okay with that. And I think that's got to be known from you guys. I think you guys got to understand that that just shouldn't be okay. There's no way that that should be the main content of this promo. So I'm not trying to rant. I'm not trying to like complain or anything to you guys. I'm just trying to explain to you guys that I feel like EA have gotten this wrong. Um, and I don't know why they're going away from bringing us players. I don't, I don't really get it. Um, because at this rate, we're going to get two a week and what this promo is going to run until like the new FIFA 20? I, I don't even know. They're, they've slowed it down so much. It just confused me so much that they went back-to-back -back days. Because this, this is the thing with EA. They do this a lot this year, and I talked about this yesterday. They do an amazing first day or two of a promo. Then it drops off, like, dr drastically. They just, like, stop. Um, they It's almost like you play someone in champs, and they put the controller down. That That's what this that's what this company feels like. Like, they, they feel like they're putting the controller down um, with this promo. So, hopefully... Uh, I'm, I'm praying for the best, man. I'm praying tomorrow that we do get an SBC. I'm praying tomorrow. I, I don't really know, guys, like about streaming or anything, man, because I just don't know what to do. 
um, you know, so thanks for watching my video today. Hopefully it was, you know, halfway enjoyable for you guys. Um, and shout out to everybody still watching the videos. I appreciate it. See you guys soon. Peace.